What's going ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video today. I'll be doing my updated 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule predictions. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. Over the course of the last few months, there's been a lot of talk and speculation that there's going to be some pretty big changes coming to the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. The schedule has also been delayed over the course of the last few months because there's some pretty major changes that are coming. Today, I will be predicting the 2025 schedule. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. The 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season is going to kick off on February the 2nd. It is expected that the Los Angeles Coliseum will not be hosting a NASCAR Cup Series race in 2025 and more than likely will not be racing in California at all next year. So where is the bush like clash going to take place? It's been heavily rumored over the last few months that Bowman Gray Stadium will be hosting a bush like clash in 2025. Now, Bowman Gray Stadium is basically in a very, very very cold climate so it's going to be very cold for fans that are going to be going there but that being said I think a lot of fans will still show up it's going to be historic it's going to probably be some good racing it's probably going to be catech like some of the Bowman Gray racing has been in the past but I do think it can put on a very solid and good show I think there's a good chance it does happen it's very likely that Bowman Gray will be opening up the season in 2025 we could go to Daytona as well but we are expected to be going to Bowman Gray Stadium in 2025 after that, there's going to be a one-week break, and then on February 16th, we will have the 2025 Daytona 500, as this has been officially confirmed. Of course, you're going to have qualifying on Wednesday, more than likely. Thursday, you're going to have the duels. Friday, you're going to have the Truck Series race. Saturday, you have the ARCA and Xfinity race, and then, of course, the Daytona 500 on February 16th. Daytona 500 always is the first race of the regular season. Puts on generally a really exciting and fun show, and I think a lot of fans are really going to enjoy the Daytona 500 in 2025 as we begin the second half of the decade pretty much daytona 500 will kick off the 2025 nascar cup series season right after that on february 23rd we'll be back at atlanta motor speedway on my original schedule i had predicted atlanta motor speedway was going to move to a little bit later in the year but i think because of how exciting the atlanta finish was earlier this year I think they're going to keep Atlanta being the second race, and it does make a lot of sense. Number one, TV ratings are going to be very, very high for the second race. We saw incredible TV ratings for Atlanta Motor Speedway for 2024, and like I mentioned, we had that very iconic finish between Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez, and Ryan Blaney. I think it happens. I think Atlanta will be the second date of the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. After that, on March the 2nd, we'll be headed to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the first of two trips out of Las Vegas. Las Vegas has been the third race of the season pretty much outside of 2020 for a majority of its time. Las Vegas puts on some fair racing, does generally get good attendance, so usually the spring race gets better attendance in the fall. I think we'll get some really good attendance, and I think we'll see some pretty solid racing with how great the next-gen car races at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Right after that, on March the 9th, we'll be headed back to Phoenix Raceway for the first of two trips. As much as I don't think Phoenix deserves two dates because it is a championship race, I do think they're going to keep two dates because they do sell out both races generally. And again, I don't think the race has been great at the track, but the attendance is usually pretty good so i think phoenix will once again be the fourth race of the year well the third race of the year the fourth race excuse me and i think it'll be the second and last race of that short little west coast swing after that on march 16th there is going to be a schedule change i think circuit americas is going to move a week earlier to the fifth race of the season Circuit Americas will be the first road course race in 2025, and I think Skoda put on an okay product last year. Generally, the fans have come out in attendance. It's not as good as the F1 crowd, but the fans do come out on a year-by-year basis, and I think the racing can be very solid at this track, too. And I, they've expected that Coda is going to be back on the schedule next year. I do think it comes back, and it will move a little bit earlier in the year to the fifth race of the season in the middle of March. After that, on March 23rd, we're going to have another major schedule change as Homestead Miami Speedway, I believe, will move to the middle of March in 2025. It's been reported that three playoff tracks this year will not be in the playoffs in 2025, and Jordan Bianchi has reported that Homestead will be one of those tracks. I think it moves to the middle of March. Number one, they want a warm climate race very early in the season. But the second reason, I think the long-term reason, is so they can work on getting the championship race set up because it's no secret that the people from Miami-Dade County are desperately wanting to get the championship race back. Plus, I think attendance will be a little bit better with the spring break time. I think Sebring's around that time as well, so probably get some fans they are going to show up there. 
I think Homestead will move to a little bit earlier in the year, and I think it will be on March 23rd in 2025 as the sixth race of the calendar. After that, on March the 30th, we'll be racing at Martinsville Speedway. Martinsville is going to be around the same time as it was last year. It will be a Sunday afternoon race. It's not going to be a Saturday night race anytime soon, considering the fact that the racing on Saturday night in 2022 was absolutely not very good at all. Hopefully, the next gen car can put on a much better product by this time next year. We're not probably going to see any horsepower increases, unfortunately, but I do expect that Martinsville will be the week after Homestead in the 2025 Cup Series season. Right after that, on April the 6th, we'll be headed to Texas Raceway or Texas Speedway. I think Texas Motor Speedway will once again be early in the year. Generally, the weather is a lot more favorable in April than it is in September. I don't think Texas, in my opinion, deserves a fall date for the Plus because the racing generally is not that great. We did get a fantastic winner, Chase Elliott, in 2024. The racing just was not that flawless. I don't think the race will be good this time around, but that being said, I do think it will be a little early in April. There's a chance there's going to be a super speedway coming down the road as well. I don't think it will be moving around at all in 2025. Right after that, on April 13th, we're going to have another major significant schedule change. As in 2025, there will be an international race. It's come down between Mexico City and Autodrama, not Autodrama, not Autodrama, Reed track, uh, the other track basically being Circa Joe's Villeneuve. But everyone is expecting that Mexico City is going to get the international date. There is talk that Sergey Jules Villeneuve could find a way on the schedule next year, but I do believe that Mexico City will be on the schedule as there are much more talks and negotiations to get it done currently at the moment. I know it's another road course and fans are generally not a big fan of that, but I do believe that Mexico City will be hosting a NASCAR Cup Series Day in 2025. For the first time, the race of the track, there was Xfinity race from 2005 to 2008. I think that happens in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. There will be a one-week break for Easter because we're not expected to be racing on Easter. And then on April 27th, we'll be racing at Talladega Super Speedway. This moves a week later. As you remember, for this year, it was a little bit later in the year. Talladega Super Speedway is generally early in the year. And generally, the attendance for the spring race is a lot better than the fall race. And generally, I think the racing is pretty good. I thought the spring race this year, while it was a fuel mileage race in certain instances, I do think it put on a solid product for sure. And we got to see Tyler Reddick pick up the win with Michael Jordan in attendance. I think Talladega continues to be where it's been the last couple of years, and I think it will be in late April in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season for this Cup Series schedule. Right after that, on May 4th, we'll be racing at Dover Speedway. This is going to move a week back because of the Easter break, as Dover will basically be on the same race number as it was last year. Dover generally puts on some pretty exciting racing. While I think it wouldn't be a bad decision to maybe move Dover a little bit later in the year for the weather side of things, I don't think they're going to change after 2025 as they may not want to move Dover to a little bit later in the year. I think Dover puts on some pretty solid racing. I thought the finish earlier this year was really, really good. I think Dover will stay around where it's at currently at the moment for the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. Right after that, on May the 11th, We'll be racing at Darlington for the throwback race. The throwback race generally puts on some really great racing, and Darlington is one of the best tracks on NASCAR, in my opinion, one of the greatest tracks that NASCAR has ever had. I think the racing generally is pretty good there as well, and obviously the throwback weekend, while I think it would not be a bad move to make move it to North Wilkes, or there's been talk of Rockingham coming back, I do think that Darlington will host this day and continue sitting where it's at for the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. Right after that, on May 18th, we will have the All-Star Race at North Wilkesboro once again. This has been officially confirmed for the 2025 season. And this will be the last race that Fox is going to broadcast before Amazon starts to take over. As much as I think North Wilkesboro does deserve a points-paying date, if they want to keep the All-Star Race here, that's perfectly fine as well. North Wilkesboro needs to work on the racing product just a little bit more for sure. But I do think North Wilkesboro is an exciting and fun racetrack. And I think it will host, the. we know it's for confirmed, but it will host the All-Star race once again in 2025. Right after that, on May 25th, will be the first official race on Amazon. It will be the 2025 
Coca-Cola 600. We know Dale Jr. is going to be over there at Amazon, and we know the Coke 600 is going to kick off the start of Amazon. Every major network coming in next year will have a major event on their schedule, and I think that the Coke 600 will put on some exciting racing as the next-gen car has generally put on some really exciting and fun racing at this racetrack the last couple of years, including in 2023 and 2022. So the Coke 600, no changes here. It will be in late May in 2025. Right after that, on June 1st, there's going to be another schedule change as I think Bristol Motor Speedway will move from the middle of March to the first weekend of June. As much as I think it would be pretty good for the racing, I do think Bristol should be a little bit later in the year. One of the big reasons why is because the weather is a major problem for Bristol Motor Speedway when it's early in the year. Kind of like Sonoma is a big issue, though I don't think Sonoma is moving. But I think Bristol Motor Speedway moves a little bit later in the year because of the weather issues that it has had. So I think it's going to move a little bit farther back into the season in 2025 as it will be the first race after the Coke Hole 600 in 2025. Right after that, on June 8th, there'll be another schedule change as Sonoma Raceway will move about a week later than it was in 2024. Sonoma Raceway will be, of course, I think the third road course race of the 2025 season. I think Sonoma had put on actually a really solid product earlier this year, and I do think Sonoma does deserve a date, but I think in the future there will be talk about Sonoma maybe losing a date because of attendance issues, among other things. And I think a lot of fans are probably getting tired of Sonoma as well in certain instances. Is. That being said, I think Sonoma will stay on the schedule for 2025 and will be the first race after Bristol. Right after that, on June 15th, there is going to be another schedule change as I think that Kansas Speedway will be on June 15th in 2025, moving about a month later than it was this year. Kansas Speedway puts on generally some of the most exciting racing in the next-gen era. And I think they're going to want to race in the Midwest next year at this time because Gateway is expecting to move a little bit later in the year because we know the IndyCar race is going to be racing at Gateway during the same weekend. I think Kansas moves back a little bit farther into the year and it will be on Amazon next year. I think that Kansas Speedway will be able to put on a really exciting, fun product for people that are on Amazon and will help for kind of set us up for that tournament going into the future. Right after that, on June 22nd, we'll be racing in Nashville Super Speedway. And this is going to be a Sunday night race. For 2024, this race was a Sunday afternoon event. I think they're going to make this a night race in 2025. I think you need to make this a night race. Generally, the weather's a lot better, and the fans are going to be a lot safer, and the drivers will be a lot safer as well. So I think it moves up a week earlier than it was last year, or this year, I should say. I think it moves a little bit earlier into the schedule, and will be the week after Kansas in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season for the drivers competing for the championship. Right after that, on June 28th, we'll be racing on Saturday night at Atlanta Super Speedway. This also will be the first race that TNT will be broadcasting in 2025. Atlanta Motor Speedway put on some really excellent racing earlier this year, and I still think that this track is going to get, get and continue to get better. And plus, TNT will put on, I think, a really exciting and fun broadcast as they'll be able to get some promotion toward it for 2025 with TNT helping out. And also be the first race of that new tournament as well. Hope we might be able to get a great and exciting photo finish to really help that out as well. But it will be the first race of the TNT section of the season. I think it will be that part of the schedule in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season for 2025. Right after that, on July the 6th, we will return to the Chicago Street Course. Now, there's been rumors and chatter that potentially the Chicago Street Course might lose a date next year. But I do think they're going to have one more year on their contract. But I think this is going to be the last year of the Chicago Street Course. As much as there is a chance they could also sign an extension, I think there's also talk that Chicago could find a way back on the schedule in the future. But I think the Chicago Street Course will be back next year. I just hope for this time around that they're not able to have any rain issues and we can have a perfect weather situation where we're not having a lot of rain issues and problems. So I think in 2025, they're going to sign the extension, and I think the Chicago Street Course will officially come back in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. Right after that, on July 13th, we'll be racing at Iowa Speedway. 
I think Iowa Speedway is going to move about a month later into the season, around maybe time the IndyCar race happens. I think it's kind of where IndyCar might happen. I'm not entirely sure, but I think Iowa is going to move a little bit later into the year. I think it'll put on some pretty fun racing for sure. I thought Iowa earlier this year was really, really exciting. Maybe not for IndyCar, but I think the Cup Series put on great racing. And I think it will be a fun show for the fans watching as well. Short track racing has been kind of eh, but it's also been great at Iowa. So I think Iowa moves a little bit farther back into the year and will move to the middle of July in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season for the schedule. Rather than on July 20th, we'll be racing at Pocono Raceway. Pocono confirmed earlier this evening that they will be back on the schedule in 2025. Pocono is one of the most exciting tracks on the schedule on a year-by-year -year basis, it seems like, though I think the race this year wasn't the greatest in the world, but I think Pocono is still a very fun track for the fans that continue to watch. So I think in 2025, there won't be any major changes to that. I think Pocono will for sure be back on the schedule at this point in 2025. Rather than on July 27th, there'll be the Brickyard 400. I think the Brickyard 400 is going to move one week later in 2025. The Brickyard 400 had great attendance, and I think there's going to be some major promotion of Kyle Larson picking up the win in the Brickyard 400. I think Indianapolis didn't really put on a fantastic show. I do think that they're probably going to see the Xfinity package that we saw there in some sort of capacity come back, but they did confirm the Brickyard 400 will be coming back. I don't think they confirmed the date, though, so I think it'll move a little bit later in the year. It will be on July 7th in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. Right after that, on August 3rd, we'll be racing at Richmond for the first time. We already know that Richmond is expected to lose a Cup Series date in 2025. And I think Richmond is going to be that track that loses a date. I just don't think the race is that great at Richmond with the next-gen car, especially in long runs really don't help it. And Tyra doesn't really seem to be existing, though. They're going to have the option tire for this year when NASCAR comes back from their break. Richmond, though, will be after the Brickyard 400, and hopefully it can put on a much better show than it did in 2024. Right after that, on August 10th, we'll be racing at Michigan. This is going to be pretty much the same weekend that it's actually scheduled for 2024, whether you think about that or not. But I think Michigan will be able to put on, I think, a solid show. Generally, with the next-gen car, Michigan has put on some really exciting and fantastic and great racing. And the attendance has been helped. We've been seeing an increase in attendance numbers over the course of the last couple of years. So I think Michigan is going to be back on the schedule for sure next year. And I think it will be the third-to-last race of the regular season in 2025. Right after that, on August 17th, we'll be returning to Watkins Glen. This means that Watkins Glen will not be in the playoffs in 2025 as they're going to return to their normal date. The reason that Watkins Glen is in the playoffs this year is because of the current situation of the Olympics going on at the moment. So I think Watkins Glen is going to move to the second to last race of the regular season. I think it'll be a road course race that drivers are going to have to learn and get good at. They're going to want to make the playoffs next year. I think Watson will be for sure moving to the second to last race of the regular season next year, as it will be the second to last race before the playoffs kick off in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. And after that, on August 23rd, we'll be racing at Daytona International Speedway. Yes, Daytona will be the regular season finale once again, as that has been officially confirmed. I think that we've seen some great racing at Daytona. It's been fantastic, and it's going to be a racetrack that's going to be able to put on some very fun racing for the fans to enjoy and watch as well. I'm excited for it. I can't wait for Daytona to be the regular season finale. Again, it's not this year because of the Olympics. I do think it'll be very fun, and I think the racing will be exciting as we will get the chance and opportunity to see who will get into the playoffs in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. So those are the official dates for the regular season. Now let's go ahead and talk about the playoffs. The beginning of the playoffs is going to start on September 1st and once again be the Southern 500. For 2024, it is a regular season finale, but with the schedule changing for 2025 and no Olympics going to be around, the Southern 500 is going to open up the playoffs in 2025. We know Southern 500 always puts on a fantastic show. We've seen the, some of the best drivers that can run this track. Get it done like Kyle Larson did last year. The Southern 500, once again, will host the first race of the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Then after that, on September 8th, there is going to be another change as New Hampshire Motor Speedway will be joining the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2025. New Hampshire has been generally when it was in the playoffs up until 2004. 14 or 15 or 2017, I should say, when they only had one or two dates, or two dates, I should say, New Hampshire used to be in the playoffs. 
I'm not as excited about New Hampshire going into playoffs, but we are expecting that this change is coming for the 2025 season. I think New Hampshire can hopefully put on a better show, maybe put some rain on the track, maybe that'll help, but sunset could become an issue as New Hampshire does not have lights. I think it could become a major issue and a problem for the teams in 2025. And then on September 14th will be the round of 16 finale. As you'll see, Bristol Motor Speedway hosts the cutoff for the round of 16. Bristol's put on some good racing. There's been rumors this track could lose a date or go back into the summer stretch, but it won't happen for 2025 to my understanding. Bristol usually puts on good racing. Hopefully it can do that for 2025. We know the Xfinity Series will be able to put on an exciting and great product, but for 2025, it will be the round of 16 cutoff race for 2025. Now we move on to the round of 12. The round of 12 is going to kick off on September 22nd at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Worldwide Technology Raceway, also known as Gateway, is moving to the plast for 2025 for some really good reasons. Number one, the weather is a lot better during that time in late September. But number two, IndyCar is going to be having their cup, their IndyCar race, on June, June the 15th. They don't want the Cup Series race and the IndyCar race happening at the same time. And while maybe the racing has not been the most exciting, I think it's going to be a lot comfortable and more comfortable for the fans that are going to be going in attendance, including myself, hopefully be out there next year at the track. So I think in 2025, Gateway will be able to move to the playoffs and will host the first race of the round of 12 in the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season. After that, on September 29th, we'll be racing at Talladega once again. Talladega, of course, will continue to host two dates for the 2025 season, as Talladega generally puts on some really fun and exciting racing. And I think the fans will probably enjoy the racing itself, though there has been talk that maybe in the future Talladega could also lose a date in the playoffs and maybe move to a different time in the schedule, with the racing being maybe in not so good at times, and also, of course, attendance continuing to drop. I think Talladega, though, will continue for 2025, being in the middle of the playoffs. And then the round of 12 cutoff race will be on October 5th at the Charlotte Roval. There were rumors that the Charlotte Oval was coming back this year, but that will not be happening for 2025 as they still want to have a road course race in the playoffs, and we know Wax Glen will not be in the playoffs in 2025. Charlotte Roval has not put on the greatest racing over the last few years. They are changing up the configuration for this year, so maybe that could help the racing just a little bit, but I'm not exactly quite sure if that's really going to be able to go and help the racing. Hopefully I'm proven wrong. We get some exciting and great racing, but I'm not sure if we're going to get that in 2025. The first race of the round of eight is going to kick off on October 12th at Kansas Speedway. Kansas has been in the round of 16 or, or round of 16 or round of 12 over the course of the last few years, but I think it's going to be moving around this year to the round of eight decider. I think Kansas is a great racetrack, and I think having it in your championship run absolutely makes a lot of sense. I hope in the future that we do get to see Kansas Speedway considered for the season finale, considering, considering it is owned by NASCAR. I think Kansas would be a fantastic track to use to be your stamp championship finale, and I think the race would be excellent and very great if it would become the championship finale in 2025. After that, on October 19th, we'll be racing at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the second race of the round of eight. Vegas has been the opener for the round of eight over the course of the last couple of years, but I think it moves to the middle of the round of eight next year with home semi-Miami Speedway not being on the schedule, and I think they want to have Kansas open that up, So and so Vegas is going to be the middle race next year. I think Vegas will be able to put on a pretty decent show like it did in the spring, but I'm not exactly sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. That being said, Vegas deserves being the playoffs. I think a lot of fans will show up because it'll be a little bit cooler out there, though it is the desert, so it might still be very, very hot next year. But Las Vegas will be in the playoffs and will be the second race, in my opinion, of the round of eight in 2025. And in the final race before deciding goes into championship, will be on October 26th at Martinsville for the cutoff race. Marsville has always been jam-packed. It doesn't matter what type of car you run here. The racing generally is really, really exciting, at least for the cutoff event. I think this race is going to be very exciting. I think drivers are going to be pushing it. I think there's going to be a lot of drama. I think there's going to be a lot of excitement, and I think a lot of drivers are really not going to care what they do to their race cars. So I think in 2025, we see Marsville move. To the fight, Once again, stay as the last race before deciding who goes into the championship for 2025. And then, this has been officially confirmed, but the final race of the year will take place on November 2nd at Phoenix Raceway. 
I was really hoping that Homestead would be the season finale for next year as I think Homestead deserves it more than Phoenix. But Phoenix does have the renovations. And to be fair, Homestead has a lot of renovations that they're going to need to be able to get done if they're going to want to host racing once again. I think Phoenix, so at least attendance is there and there's no denying that they did some really great renovations. And the track does at least look pretty good. That being said, hopefully the race can get better. But I think there's also a good chance that this will be the last race of last time that Phoenix will host a season finale for the foreseeable future. So, those are my updated 2025 NASCAR Cup schedule predictions. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If notifications on so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support my Patreon as well. Link description below with that, and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. What are your 2025 NASCAR schedule predictions? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, more than likely, I'm going to have my updated top 10 free agents for 2025 on the guys that are still not signed for this year. Then on Sunday, we'll likely have the 2026 NASCAR Silly Season predictions dropping. And then on Monday, we're having NASCAR news. we discuss news from the last four or five days coming out on the channel. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.